everyone today I'm going to be showing you how to run the game Hades 2 on the Apple Silicon Mac. So this is Hades 2 Early Access which is only on Windows at the moment and it's going to be released on macOS in the future. But if you want to play it on your Apple Silicon Mac right now it's actually possible to do using the Windows version using a piece of software called Crossover which allows us to run the game using Game 14 Toolkit's D3D Metal, something called M-Sync and it pretty much works flawlessly on Apple Silicon Macs. So in this video today I'm going to show you how to run Hades 2 on Apple Silicon hardware. We're going to be installing Crossover, installing the Windows version of Steam. We're going to be enabling D3D Metal and the M-Sync settings in order to get this game running as best as possible on Apple Silicon Max. So the first thing that we are going to do is download Crossover 24. So make sure to scroll down and then click on the link at the top of the description. Every single purchase that's made through this link helps to support this channel and the content that I create. So click on the link at the top of the description here and you'll be taken to the Code Boovers website. And in this promo code box, make sure to use the code Apple Gaming Wiki New and you'll get a huge 20% discount off your purchase. But if you're not quite ready to commit to a full purchase of Crossover, then make sure to go back to the home page and then scroll down and you can make use of of a fully featured 14 day free trial here. Just press the try now button and then scroll down and then enter your name and email address. And I'm gonna press the download trial now button to make use of this trial. So once you have made a purchase, then go and log into your Code Weavers account and then go to the downloads button here and then make sure to download the latest version of Crossover. So once that's finished downloading, we're gonna to go to our finder button here and then go to downloads. And then we have our Crossover 24.0.0 zip, which is the latest at the time of recording, double click. And then it's gonna go ahead and extract into downloads. We're gonna drag and drop this into our applications folder folder here. So just drag and drop. And then within our applications folder, we're going to find Crossover and then double click. And it's saying here, Crossover is an app downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? Press open. So now that Crossover is open, we're going to go ahead and install the most popular Windows game launcher, which is Steam. So I'm going to press this install button on the bottom left. And I'm going to type in the word Steam. And we're going to click on the Steam button here. And this is basically a Steam installer wizard. We're going to press the install button here. And it's going to go ahead and automate all of the processes that we need for Steam to install, including building what's called a bottle and then downloading any dependencies that it needs. So here it's saying creating Steam Bottle, installing fonts. Here, if anything pops up, just press yes. And a lot of this just happens in the background. So now we have the Windows Steam installer opened up here. We're going to go through the Windows installation process. Just press yes to English. We're going to install it within the default location within the bottle and then press next. And what I normally advise people to do is not to click run Steam. I'm going to press the finish button here so that the entire bottle can finish creating. So this means that this bottle entry has now been listed here. So at this stage, I would advise changing some settings. It depends on the game that you're going to be running as well. So D3D Metal, for example, which comes from Apple's Game Porting Toolkit, allows you to run DirectX 11 and 12 games on the Mac. If you want to turn this on, most games are going to benefit from this. Or alternatively, we have DXVK, which is the older method for running DirectX 11 games. Some games work better through this, for example, Overwatch 2. So you might want to toggle this on instead. So you can only toggle one or the other. And if you have neither of these turned on and you're trying to run a DirectX 11 or 12 game, then that's going to run through Wine D3D. Also as well, we have the option of eSync or M-Sync. I will turn on M-Sync sync which is compatible for most games and it's going to increase performance as well so just click on the reboot bottle and enable msync so we're basically ready to open up steam so just double click on the steam icon here and it's saying here it's downloading an update so that's the windows version of steam updating itself so now the steam login window has opened up so if you don't have a steam account already you can go ahead and create one for free here or you can log in or use your smartphone to scan this qr code so i'm going to be scanning with my phone here and it's going to go ahead and log in for us and now we've basically logged into the windows version of steam instead of the mac version basically we can go ahead and install and run many Windows games, including Hades 2. So we do a search for the game Hades 2, and what we're going to do is make a purchase of this game. So this is an early access at the moment. It will come to macOS in the future, but for now, we're going to be buying the Windows version here. So just going to go ahead, add to cart, and then go ahead and make payment. So I've now made a purchase, and it's been added to my Steam library. I can install content here or just go to library, and then do a search for Hades 2, and then click the install button. And basically we're going to be installing this into its default location. So just go ahead and press the install button here. It's reserving space. It's only four gigabytes in size. So just let that complete before we move on to the next step. I'm also testing out this game using mouse and keyboard, but I also have a DualSense 5 controller paired to this computer. If you have a DualSense controller or an Xbox controller, all you need to do is to go to the Apple logo here, go to system settings, make sure to click on the Bluetooth settings here, and then you can go ahead and pair a controller just put your DualSense controller into pairing mode by pressing the option button and then the home button. And then you can go ahead and pair it using nearby devices here. Then it's going to be detected by the game. So just go ahead and press play to launch. It's going ahead and installing some redistributable dependencies. Just wait for that to finish. 
And now the game has launched. So here it's saying that this is in early access. So just be aware that this can actually change your performance. But anyway, this is now running. So here I'm using a controller. You can see it seems to work pretty much flawlessly. It also works great with mouse and keyboard support as well. So you can use both options in order to play this game. So anyway, as you can see, Hades 2 runs very well on the Apple Silicon Mac using D2D Metal and M-Sync. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.